Rube Goldberg machines. You've probably seen these crazy contraptions in online viral videos, in movies, at museums, or at home playing the board game Mousetrap. But I wonder, if I asked you, could you accurately tell me what a Rube Goldberg machine is? In my 30 years of building these machines, I've run across a lot of variations to the definition. For example, an unnecessarily complicated process, a convoluted series of interconnected actions and reactions, the embodiment of cause and effect taken to the extreme, utilizing a cascade of actions, each triggering the next in a domino effect, ultimately leading to the accomplishment of a simple task. Now, if listening to those made your head spin, then hold on tight as I read you the official definition genuinely found in the dictionary. A comically involved, complicated invention laboriously contrived to perform a simple operation. Yeah. Now, before this starts to sound a little too complicated, let me give you my simplified definition. A Rube Goldberg machine takes a simple task and uses as many steps as possible to complicate things, using everyday objects in a humorous way. See? Not as bad, right? Now, let's break down the key elements that make up a Rube Goldberg machine, or RGM for short. The beauty of these contraptions lies in their complexity and creativity. Each component, or step, plays a vital role in setting off the next one, resulting in a mesmerizing chain reaction effect. It's like a symphony of physics and engineering. Speaking of chain reaction, that phrase refers to a series of events related to each other where each one initiates the next. Under the umbrella of what we consider to be different styles of chain reactions includes marble runs, domino topples, crazy contraptions, chain reaction machines, and Rube Goldberg machines. As you can see by the official chain reaction guidelines, each of the five different types are classified by the boxes it ticks against the four categories listed earlier in my RGM definition. A chain reaction that incorporates all four has earned the prestigious title of being called a Rube Goldberg machine. To quickly review the terminology, a Rube Goldberg machine is a type of chain reaction. However, a chain reaction machine is not considered to be a true Rube Goldberg as it doesn't meet every criteria, i.e. lacks humor or ridiculousness. Let's now take a closer look at what I mean by each of those categories. One step triggers the next. In this example, we have a length of chain whereby we're going to create the fountain effect where one link has to pull the next link in order to create a literal chain reaction. At a very basic level, we can consider machine steps as if they were individual dominoes. You need each domino to fall into the next in the proper order for it to be considered a success. What we can do to elevate this from an ordinary domino topple to the beginnings of a Rube Goldberg machine is to replace the dominoes with everyday objects. undamaged, but common everyday items laying around your home, your classroom, or a museum in my case, are going to be the critical elements to elevate your chain reaction. But what was the point of all this? What did that domino topple even do? I mean, this chain reaction, it looked really cool. However, well, other than this chain falling to the floor, what was the purpose of it all? The next problem we need to solve is exactly that. What is the purpose of my machine? At the heart of every single Rube Goldberg is the purpose, better known as solving the task. Remember, an RGM takes a simple task and overcomplicates things in order to solve it. Take, for example, this machine that delivers a hat. Certainly an overcomplicated way to do things, right? Did you notice all the everyday objects I used? How about that wedge of cheese holding back the first domino? 
the toilet paper roll tower, or that flying pig, which was simply my piggy bank. In total, there was a sequence of 10 steps, one thing triggering after the next until the hat was delivered to me. But the critical element that transformed this particular chain reaction into a true Rube Goldberg machine? Humor. Rube Goldberg machines are supposed to be whimsical, nonsensical, and just downright silly contraptions. Unlike true inventions, they serve little to no actual benefit in simplifying your everyday life. It's why the category is labeled as simple everyday task and not solves a purpose. I could have just as easily stood up to grab the hat or choose not to try and make my dog wear the hat at all. The fun of a Rube Goldberg machine comes from the excitement of each step. When we watch it go, we're amazed by how complex and clever it can be. The surprises, inventive actions, and overcomplicated pieces make us laugh, feel amazed, or even groan at the ridiculousness of it all. Why else would I need a contraption to call over my hairstylist? In essence, a Rube Goldberg machine is a comedic masterpiece of engineering, blending creativity and physics, not to mention absurdity, into a delightful spectacle. Prepare to become a contraption master yourself in this all-inclusive educational series where I'll walk you through every essential component for your own Rube Goldberg creation. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on more of my mind-boggling content, or else you might end up like him. Thank you.